In this unique series of videos, we are going to take you right back through to the beginning of our story and look through the history and heritage of some of our incredible race cars. Okay, so here we have the MP4-1, the McLaren Project 4 chassis number one from 1981. Now simply put, this is the biggest leap in technology and safety within Formula One history because this marks the world's first carbon fiber chassis, which is a massive part of our story. Not only was it better for performance, it was stronger, it was more lightweight, but more importantly, it was incredibly safe. Now if you just look on the inside of the car, we have this carbon fiber chassis monocoque surrounding the driver. Either side of him, there's only a couple of inches of, of structural part of the car. Previously, that would have been rolled aluminium and the torsional rigidity wasn't great. So when you're pushing on the throttle, the car's often suffered a lot of twist. This practically eliminated the twist because for the equivalent weight of aluminium, carbon fiber is five times stronger. There were critics, however. People believed that under an impact, this carbon fiber would just disintegrate, explode into a million pieces. Now there's a real testament to the safety of carbon fiber. John Watson had an accident, a 140 mile an hour crash at Monza. He was coming out at a very high speed, second Lesmo. He dropped the car, which forced it to go backwards into the Armco. Directly behind the Armco was a large tree. So effectively, he hit a tree at 140 miles an hour backwards. What happened? Something very special. Okay, so the engine and gearbox actually separated away from the carbon fiber, away from the driver, and away from the fuel. John Watson, in his safety cell, skidded across the circuit, and he managed to walk away from that accident. From that point on, people really stood up and paid attention that carbon fiber was really the way to go. Now I'll go back to this idea of MP4, McLaren Project 4. This is the first car which sees McLaren in its current guise, where Ron Dennis merging his Project 4, Formula 2 and Formula 3 racing team with McLarens to form McLaren Project 4 chassis number one. The shape of the car is very interesting too. If you follow me to the back, you'll notice that this is a ground effect car. There are two large tunnels running underneath each side pod. This was designed to effectively create uh, a vacuum which sucks the car into the ground. The problem was, if this vacuum got broken, the cars would often take off and it became incredibly dangerous. We developed technologies to, to improve this ground effect. The McLaren Project 4, simply put, the biggest leap in technology, particularly for safety.